It has been five days since a tornado ripped through parts of the region and caused significant damage to a number of communities. One of those is Bellevue Park in the Harrisburg region. That's where we find Fox 43 Sarah Williams. She has details of how people there are still working to recover from the devastation, Sarah. Yeah, Evan, I want to give you a look at what is now here in back of me. This is the community house, Bellevue Community House. And if you take a look just on this side, you can see one of the two trees ripped out of the ground, hitting the uh, what's it called the community house. Really just a sight to see. And this site is not only just here, but throughout the Bellevue community with city officials implementing recovery efforts and the Bellevue community still reeling from the experience. We're like, what was that? And then, and then the tree hit the house. And then we're like, oh, okay, yeah. Doris and Rob Olsh lived in what they called the house in the woods for more than 20 years. When the storm came, Rob said it sounded like a freight train coming through. This is called the house in the woods, but it is no longer that. When the tornado touched down, it damaged the roofs, windows, garage, and more in the community of Bellevue Park. A tree fell on a neighbor's house, causing him to have to move out. The only um, house that I've seen so far is our next door neighbor, which was just devastated. The Olshes say they can't even estimate how much the damage is going to cost, with the biggest damage to their back roof and sun porch. It used to be a couple little rays of in, in the sun coming in from the east in the morning, but now it's just like wide open. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's it's like a there's a spotlight on you when you walk in. The city of Harrisburg dispatched cleanup crews and tree service companies to homes that were impacted by the storm. They were here before daylight, the day of the tornado, and they've been here ever since. They're helping neighbors clean up. They will come into your yard to help you if you need it. Pennsylvania voluntary organizations active in disaster and crisis cleanup have set up a call center to streamline recovery efforts and have been working for days on end. They said if we would drag it to the curb, they would pick it up and they've done a great job really from day one. And while this scary experience is coming to an end and the reality of cost and cleanup sets in, the residents are remaining positive. We still have, this is our favorite tree and it's still there. So you have a yeah. favorite tree? Yep, this Even one right here. Look at that oak tree. tree, isn't it magnificent? Yeah, even after everything that they've been through, Doris still has a favorite tree. And she also tells me that they're working with tree companies to make sure they can save some of these trees, cutting off limbs so that way in a few years they can grow back. Evan. Sarah, you were there Friday when the storm first rolled through. You're there today. Talk about the number of houses that you have seen that have been impacted. Yeah, Evan, I've seen dozens of houses impacted, but what stands out most to me is that one neighbor took a map of Bellevue Park and drove around marking the houses that have been damaged. He uh, released this photo on social media and more people commented saying, hey, my house has been damaged too. So when I went back and looked at that map, over 50 homes were impacted by this tornado. That's certainly interesting. We'll have the picture and a link to that on our website, fox43.com. All right, Sarah Williams live in the Harrisburg area this afternoon. Thank you so much.